Today I'm going to talk about web hosting companies which are available in the market. I will go through some web hosting companies, their features, overview, pricing and different plans. It might be difficult for beginners to choose the best web hosting. Hopefully you can get some information about it before purchasing. Hi, my name is Aizat. I am from Hosting365. We help you to expand your brand and website to the next level. Today I will talk about web hosting. You can find all the links in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Without further ado, let's jump in. What is web hosting? Let's imagine a web hosting just like a warehouse. So it stores your website data. The blog posts, visitors' action, what did the visitors do when they enter your website, and so on. Your warehouse address is your domain. For example, hosting365.org. Basically, you cannot run your website without a web hosting. How does web hosting work? Web hosting services work by maintaining stable and secure storage spaces. Web hosts provide data storage. Hosts store data on hardware called web servers. All websites on the internet need web hosting. When someone enters your domain name in a browser, the domain name is translated into the IP address of your web hosting company's computer. Websites are important for blogger, web designer, shop owner, businessman or internet marketer. In order to promote your service via a website, you need a domain and web hosting. You can buy domain from the same web hosting company or from other domain providers and migrate to your existing web hosting. Before purchase, you can compare the price for any domain. The domain providers shown in the screen are Namecheap, Namesilo and Dynadots. I usually buy domains from these providers. The price stated in bold is for the first year registration. Below it, you can see the renewal price for second year onwards. Domain is usually renewed yearly. After you buy a domain, you need a web hosting. There are different types of web hosting companies. Here I will cover what factors to consider when choosing a web hosting. Storage and bandwidth. A small website does not require storage as much as an e-commerce store. Host with SSD storage is faster than HDD one. Be careful with unlimited bandwidth. Bandwidth is number of website visits that it can handle. Although the company advertises about unlimited bandwidth, sometimes your website slows down when it reaches certain limit. Shared web hosting means your website lives on a server with other websites. The sites literally share a single server's resources. Resources include CPU, RAM, storage and bandwidth. The advantage of it is low cost. But sometimes it affects your website loading time and performance. Dedicated or VPS server distribute resources equally among websites and maintain stable performance. CDN – Content Delivery Network It works like a mini-server to load your website faster. If the server is located nearby, it is okay if you don't have CDN feature inside your web hosting. Let's say your server is located in New York. Visitors from New York will experience faster loading time at your website compared to those in Asia. Security. Some company provides two-factor authentication to secure login access. You need to consider malware scanning and removal. SSL certificate. Nowadays Google acknowledges website with SSL certificate. It makes your visitors feel insecure to browse your web without worries if the credentials exposed. Backups. Please check if the web host company provide backup service for your web. What is the frequency and retention duration? How frequent backup is performed and how long the data will be kept? Support. To me, customer service response time must be fast. You can reach them by chat or email. Pricing. Please compare prices of different plans carefully. Some company offers monthly, yearly, two-yearly and four-yearly subscription. Do check about the registration price and subscription renewal ones. Now let's compare different hosting. I would choose one to demonstrate to you. Let's check out SiteGround web hosting. 
The most commonly used web hosting is Shared Web Hosting. It is suitable for small to medium-sized website. Let's take a look at SiteGround Shared Hosting. To get discounted price, you must pay the plan for one year registration. Subsequent renewals will cost you regular price. For example, for Grow Big Plan, you need to pay one time fee of $80 during first subscription. If you want to subscribe monthly, you need to pay regular price, which is $24.99. If you want to subscribe monthly, you need to pay regular price, which is $24.99. SiteGround Shared Hosting has three different plans. It has different features that suit your needs. The difference between each plan includes how many websites you can run on this hosting, one or unlimited, how many website files can be stored, 10, 20 or 40 gigabytes, how many traffic it can handle, SSL availability, daily backup, and so on. You save huge discount if you subscribe for one year during the first year. But bear in mind about the amount you need to pay from second year onwards. You can get a lot more features with premium plans, which are Grow Big and Go Geek. PHP is a programming and scripting language to create interactive website. SiteGround also has its own managed WordPress hosting. Let's talk about shared hosting versus WordPress hosting. Shared hosting is just a type of hosting plan where your site shares resources with other sites on the same server. Managed WordPress hosting is a set of added services and performance tweaks that sits on top of regular hosting. WordPress hosting providers may also use shared servers, but those servers are dedicated only to sites running WordPress, and they are optimized to support its latest updates and features. Your site will load faster on managed WordPress hosting than it will on shared hosting. SiteGround WordPress hosting plans are similar to its shared hosting prices. The highlighted features are additional to the shared hosting ones. SiteGround has its own cache plugin and security plugin. The security plugin protects your login from unauthorized access. The cache plugin aids to speed up site performance. One thing I like the most about SiteGround is its speed and user-friendly interface. A lot of us sometimes are not tech-savvy. For example, it's easier to migrate your domain from other provider to SiteGround. You just need to point the DNS server to SiteGrounds. Here, I bought a domain from Dynadot and point the DNS server to SiteGrounds. Next, we'll take a look at cloud hosting. Cloud hosting is where your website is powered by several different servers. SiteGround has four cloud hosting tires. Other company like Hostinga provides VPS or virtual private server hosting. A VPS hosting is faster than shared hosting because your visitors don't have to queue up with other sites' visitors to access yours. Compared with shared hosting, VPS hosting gives your website additional server resources to work with as there are fewer websites on the server. Now, let's jump into Hostinga web hosting. Its shared hostings has three different plans single, premium, and business. You can choose to subscribe each plan at different time frame – monthly, yearly, two-yearly, or four-yearly. Hostinga's single shared hosting is $9.49 per month. You pay $1.39 only if you subscribe for four years. You can host one website only, get one email account, 100 GB of monthly data transfers, 30 GB of solid-state storage, and roughly 10,000 monthly visitors. The premium plan costs $10.95 per month, or $2.59 per month, with a 4-year commitment. The plan lets you create up to 100 websites and email addresses, and offers unlimited monthly data transfers and 100 GB of storage. The business plan is $15.99 per month, or $3.99 per month if you subscribe for 4 years. It includes all features in the premium plan, plus daily backups, a free CDN to speed up your site, and quadruple the processing power so that your site can handle approximately 100,000 monthly visitors. Now we move on to Namecheap web hosting. The shared hosting has three plans. 
You can look at the price for registration and renewal price. Also, look at the features of each plan, which one suits your need. This is WordPress hosting. It has three plans with different features. Last but not least is GoDaddy web hosting. It has different types of hosting. Among them are GoDaddy shared web hosting is a bit expensive compared to Hostinga. Ok, that's the end of my video today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. If you are looking for in-depth review of web hosting, you can visit my website in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.